Uh, yeah, when people ask where I'm from, it's it's interesting. In depends entirely on on what language I'm speaking, right? So if I'm speaking in Dutch, people can detect that I'm not native Dutch, but they really have to kind of guess where I'm from. And I think most people get an English-speaking country. Are you from Australia? Are you from South Africa? But uh, the Canada, they don't try to tend to get right off. I chose to come to the Netherlands for a girl. Yeah, I met a girl who uh, was in Canada on holiday. Um, where did you two meet? And yeah, we met in, um, in Ottawa. Uh, she was there. I was visiting a friend there. We, it was a, a chance encounter. Um, this part is unfortunately not as interesting as perhaps you, somebody might want to hear about. But uh, we maintained kind of a, a friendly relationship via email for a while. And that developed over time uh, until we decided, um, okay, well, let's, let's meet up and see what would happen if we had a date. But of course, it's an intercontinental date. So I had to fly over and spend, I think it was a week, a week and a half here on holidays. Um, very intense, of course, because I had to stay in her house. I didn't, I didn't stay someplace else. Um, we traveled around. I went back to, uh, to North America, and uh, we continued to chat for a while and then decided to, to make a real stab at, at starting a relationship. I did have moments where I considered moving back to Canada, and some of them were related to my relationship with my girlfriend at the time, and some of them were related to some of those cultural differences, and how close everybody is to you all the time, and, and the lifestyle, and of course language being a, a barrier that I hadn't been able to cross yet at an early stage. It, it kind of made me want to go back to some place where it would be a bit easier to live. I miss spending time with my sister, I think. I didn't spend much time with her when we were younger, when I was a teenager, but uh, she's traveled a lot, and I've traveled a lot, and now she has gone back to Canada to settle. And I think at this point in my life, especially given the fact that we both have children that are roughly the same age, I miss the opportunity to spend more time with her and her family so that our families could grow up and develop together. When I think about where I'm going to be in 20 years, um, it, it's still kind of cloudy to me. I still find both countries, both Canada and the Netherlands, very appealing. In addition, due to the fact that I'm married to a, a Dutch woman, I could theoretically live anywhere in Europe. And there's still a lot of Europe that I haven't seen. So I'm going to do some more traveling. I'm going to find out if there are other places on this planet that might be interesting to go and live and stay. Um, for now, I'm, I'm very happy with the Netherlands. I have a son who's in school here who's very happy with his life. I'm very comfortable. So I don't see any immediate move in the future.